Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to Online Smicha. The Parsha, the tefillah that we say towards the end of the davening, which carries special weight, so much so that it says that one is not allowed to leave the shul until the earliest possibility a person can leave the shul when there's a minion if he hears the Kedusha the Sidra after a Volotzin. And it also mentioned in the Hilchas Tefillin that it's preferable that even if a person is rushing, he should not take off his tefillin before he, he the chazan and the minion, finishes Uvalotzian. So, <clears throat> what is so special about the Uvalotzian that we say after Shemayn Esrei, after Tachnun? So there are many reasons given to this. First of, first of all, the Avud Raham says a very simple reason. He says that in this uh, Uvalotzian, we mentioned the Kedusha, Kaddish, 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 the Kedusha that the Malachim say. Actually, this is the only place where the, where the Kedusha is not only mentioned as it's said, but as it's translated in Aramaic. What's the reason why this the specialty of now saying Kedusha again? So the Avud Raham says, Mishum Ame Aratzim. We are concerned about the Ame Aratzim, the simpletons. Hama'achrim love Litvila that they come late to shul, they're not rushing to come to shul, and we're, we're concerned that they didn't get early enough to hear the real Kedusha, or the regular, the regular, regular Kedusha in Shemayin Esrei. So we were massacring another Kedusha after Ashrei, we say Uvalutzin, to make it up for them. For them. And that's talk of the reason why we find that in this say the Kedusha, in Uvalutzin, we find 18 times Hashem's name, to correspond to the, give a short, quick davening set up as it is for, for with those who went through the whole davening, for those who came late, they should be able to get it all in a quick, a quick, quick form. And that's talk the reason why in Shabbos and Yontif, where everybody comes to Shul on time, we hope, says David Raham, there is no reason to say Uvalotzian. The only reason Shabbos, a Mincha time, we say it again, it's because during Mincha, there is usually a time when there's many people learning, giving drashas and, and halacha and Torah, and at the end of a drasha, it's always customary to mention suke geula or kedusha, and even the amayaratzim come during that time. So that's the reason why it's said on Shabbos Mincha time. But really, really, uh, it's not something that, sh- because they, they were there in the morning, it, we, we wouldn't have to say it on Shabbos. That is the Avud Raham's reason. The other reason is that Chazal tell us that the, there was a time when the guy made a takana, Shebetchila gozru al Yisrael shelayanu kedusha b'toy chatfila. The guy made a takana, we're cutting out, you want to pray, pray, fine. You want to do some mitzvahs, mitzvahs. Whatever reason, they had a hang-up with the kedusha. They did not want to allow Yidin to say kedusha. Something about the kedusha saying Kedusha bothered the Goyim, they, they eliminated that from the Jewish text. But the Yidin still have to keep the text as it is. So they actually sent, had policemen watching if the Yidin are davening the way they, they want to daven and cut out Kedusha. So once Shemayin Esrei was done, all those policemen left. So after they said Shemayin Esrei, when those policemen, those troublemakers left, they said again, and in there they would incorporate the Gedusha to make up what they, they weren't able to say during the regular Shemayin Esrei. And that's taka the reason why we say it once and translate it in Aramaic, because since the Goyim had a hang-up specifically about the Gedusha, they eliminated the Gedusha in Shemayin Esrei and the Gedusha in Berches Krishma to make up for both of them, we say it in, in Volutzin, in, in Hebrew and in Aramaic. So, now we can understand why, why even though the main gist of this tefillah is the Kedusha, and the Gemara Taka says that the, today's days, the Alma, the world, even though there's so many clothes, so many trouble, so many uh, non-good stuff going on, um, uh, what's this world standing on? The Gemara says the, this world today is standing on, on Kedusha the Sidra. On the fact that you didn't say this, that's what keeps the world alive. And an Amen Yehesh Marabba Da'agavita. One of the things that keeps the world going is the fact that you are not saying the Gedusha the Sidra. 
So because uh, th this is the reason why saying it later on to make up what we, we didn't have earlier, we introduce that the, the kedusha of the sidra by adding a couple of sukkim before the va'ata kavit uvalitzi and goyel uvalitzi and goyel saying Hashem Baruch Hashem we don't have that trouble now and Baruch Hashem even back then when they were saying it when they were in trouble they they were requesting please let's have a geula so we shouldn't have to do this like at the end covering up making up we waiting for the geula so we should be out and outright daven the way we're supposed to. And you, Hashem, wait for the praise of Hashem. A praise, how the Yidin praise Hashem. And there's the famous story of the Baal Shem Tev, where the Baal Shem Tev said that uh, uh, a Pashat Yid saying Baruch Hashem, thank God, is sometimes in a higher level than the great Islamdim, because the Abishta waits for Tehila Yisrael for the Yidin to praise him. In other Svarim, it says, based on this Gemara, that the Gemara says, Miyayim Shachar of Beis Amikdash, Nina Lushar Eitzvila. From the time that the Beis Amikdash was destroyed, the, the gates of Tfila are shut. So it's almost impossible to get your word in and Hashem should uh, listen to our cries. How is it? What, what could we do to get our Tfila in? Only Tshuva is Mikra'as Gizardin. If you have real Tshuva, that will rip apart any negative. Gzar uh, Din that comes Mulamaila, and that could Hashem would listen to somebody doing tshuva. So therefore, we say all the davening that we did till now, we're not so sure that Hashem accepted it. But now that we said Tachnun, and now that we say Olishave Pasha Biyakov, for those who return and do tshuva, those Hashem listens to, and and that's why we say the kedusha, and we say all this because the dafke here. All our tefillahs will be listened, and Hashem will be mekabel our tefillahs. Some of the interesting uh, Hasidish shatim you could learn from in this Uvalotzian, we find that we say Hashem alikei Avram Yitzchak Yisrael Avisenu, the God of our fathers. Shamra zoyitz la'olam liyetzer machshav is levava mecha. So some Hasidish Rebbe interpreted as great as a person may be, even if a person's in the level of Avram Yitzchak Yaakov, you should know the Yetzirah knows that. And the Yetzirah plays with not, not the cha same trick for every person. So if somebody, even somebody who's in the level of Avram Yitzhak Yaakov knows Shomra Zois. He knows I got to stay away. I got to have a special protection. And we also say, but we conclude this tefillah by saying, Baruch HaGever Hashem Yiftach Hashem Hashem Blessed is the person that has faith in Hashem. Vahoya Hashem Miftachin. If you have faith in Hashem, Hashem will have tr will be your trusted one. So the Chassidish interpretation is that exactly with the amount of bitachin, based on the amount of bitachin you have in Hashem, Hashem will return you, return to you, and give you so much reward as as much as the bitachin you have in Him.